Dan, no, everybody pull up our okay in terms of the thoughts? Yeah, no, not, not too uh, not too bad. You know, a few bumps and bruises, a um, couple of corks and, and that sort of thing, but no, they'll be, uh, they'll be good to go. Okay. Chiefs have got a few big guns coming back, uh, Messer and Tamiafina and uh, Brody Vitali, just to name a couple. Like you guys can have it. Cut yeah, that's right. You know, they're quality. They're, yeah. they're all uh, most of them all played for uh, for the All Blacks. So it's um, you know we, we just need to get our own game right, I suppose. And and, uh, and as we did on Friday night, and, and you know if, whenever the opposition have the ball, we've got to make sure that we're physical and that we apply pressure whenever we, whenever we can in set piece and, and in defence. So I guess a, a big test uh, this week, Scotty. Um, Benny Tamafina. <laughs> How are you enjoying your game against him? Uh, very much. i uh, played against him since uh, 09, schoolboy, so i uh, played a few good battles uh, over the years and um, I look forward to it again. He's played some great rugby the last few years for the Chiefs, um, obviously winning the two um, championships with them, so uh, it's always a big test when I come up against him. Played almost like a loose sport at times on Friday night, is it? The plan for you now to, to be a little wider? No, I think it's... Uh, it's what we train for, you know, to have the ability to play it anywhere in the field uh, from 1 to 15 and not be limited by the number on our back. Um, and, and then you show, we show that on the weekend, you know, guys uh, who are not necessarily uh, play out wide in the 15, showing some of the skill that they have, guys like Sam Carter, Scott Fardy, you know, Josh Mann right down the sideline. So um, uh, it's something we're trying to build and um, bring back to the Brumbies game, uh, sort of Brumbies of old, I guess you can say. The last time you've played the Chiefs, last three times, I mean, there was the grand final, the grand final and Zach Day rematch, and then the quarter final last year. Things getting particularly sort of, you know, heated between the two sides. Have you come up against them some pretty big occasions recently? Yeah, uh, I think it's um, sort of how the draw has, has gone the last two years, and um, no, I think it's something we look forward to. I think it's the you know, and back in the day, it used to be the Brumbies Crusaders, and it seems to be Brumbies Chiefs. You know, nowadays, the the big Australian New Zealand fixture we look forward to. So, um, uh, I guess you know, it's those were those were sort of lucky occasions where there was a final and an and Anzac Day Pro. But we treat every game, you know, the same. You know, we're going into this game the same focus that we would have had last year as well. You know, we're going uh, to come out there with the win. You know, whether that be by twenty or one point. So. Hi, I'm James Dargaville from Sydney and I've come down to Canberra to play rugby for the Brumbies. I started playing rugby for Newport Breakers on the Northern Beaches of Sydney. I was 12, I think, it was my first season. Um, well, I wanted to study and I wanted to keep pursuing rugby and uh, it would have been too difficult travelling in from Avalon to Sydney Uni and playing rugby as well, so I was able to do both at Sydney Uni. You, do you surf or you grew up on the beach at Avalon? <laughs> I used to a lot more than I do now, obviously it makes it a bit tougher uh, living in town but I, I used to not so much anymore. We've been down to check out the shore at Lake <laughs> Griffin if there's any sort. <laughs> haven't been yet no. Uh, yeah. Just taking the opportunity to uh, focus solely on rugby will be very exciting for me I haven't done that before and looking to learn and develop as much as I possibly can under this year. I haven't really to be honest had much of a conversation with him um, he was overseas when uh, the signing was happening, so I haven't had a decent chat with him. I'll go up and have a chat with him now. Really good. Uh, who are some of the players you sort of have an eye on and you admire from the Brumbies? Oh, I love watching Spade and Tamani play. They're two exciting outside backs, and I'd love to learn how they do what they do. do you... uh, I run hard, tackle hard, and uh, I run good lines, and that's what I bring to the at the moment, but I'd just like to develop my ball playing and things like that, which would be good under Larkin. Um, I was really into league growing up mainly. Um, went for the Manly Seagulls and I, uh, I'd i never really picked a team to support. I just liked watching rugby. So uh, when I started getting into that, um, I guess I've always admired watching Greg and Larkin. I love Clyde Rathbone growing up. He was a bloody good player to watch. and. Yeah, I've always loved the players over the